The pseudocode represents an algorithm. The predefined function div gives the value of the result of integer division. For example, y equals 9 divided by 4, which gives a value of 2. So there's two fours in 9. It doesn't consider the remainder at this point. But the predefined function mod, short modulus, gives the value of the remainder of integer division. For example, r, in this case remainder, we're going to sign that as the remainder, equals 9 mod 4. Okay, so the remainder value would be 1. Okay, because there's two fours, as I said, in 9, as you see here, but there's a remainder of 1. Okay, so that's what we're basically looking at. Now, for part A, we've got a completely trace table for the algorithm using this input data. 8, 66, 606, 6226, 8448, 642, 747, 77, 121. There's lots of numbers here, I'll just give you a hint because I've had a look at this question before, where the first number and the last number are the same. Okay, apart from that one. So let's have a little look. We've got to put some values in. So first and last have both been assigned zero. Zero, zero. Okay. Input limit. Okay, where's the limit? Let's have a little look. Nothing obvious. So it must be using this data. So 8, and also it's a single character, so it's a suppose it stands out. 8 must be our limit. Okay, that's good. So for counter has been assigned a value 1 to limit. Okay, so rather than doing it on this line here, because we've already used this line, I'm going to go 1, okay, to limit. So I'm going to put some counter, I'm going to put these figures in straight away. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we're going to be looping around eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight numbers left, so that makes sense. Okay, input a value. Okay, input the value at position one, I'm going to do 66. Okay, if the value is greater than or equal to 100, then if the value is less than 1,000, then first has been assigned the value divided by 100, last has been the value mod 10. If first equals last, then output value, end if, end if, end if, next counter. Okay, so because 66 does not fit between the range 100 and 1,000, we move on to the next number, okay? Get rid of that. 6, 0, 6. Now this is um, somewhere between 100 and 1,000, okay? So first gets assigned the value div 100, okay? Div 100. So 6, Oh, 06 divided by 100 equals 6. Okay, so first gets assigned the value 6. Last gets assigned the value mod 10. Okay, mod 10. But what does that mean? So last value mod 10, we've got 606 again. But this time, if we divide it by 10, we're going to get 60, remainder 6, okay? Our last number has been assigned the value of the remainder, the mod, okay, which is 6. Number 3, 6, 2, 2, 6. Okay, does that sit between the range of 100 and 1,000? No, so we can loop around again, okay? eight. Four, four, eight. Okay, again, we can look around again. But six, four, two does sit within this range. So let's go here. Six, four, two divided by 100. Okay, equals six, remainder 42. Oh my word. Okay, and then. 6, 4, 
2 was divided by 10 is obviously going to be 64 for the remainder of 2. Okay? So that, based on what we've got here, so we're going to put the first number in, which is going to be uh, 6, and we're going to put the remainder in, which is going to be a 2. Okay? Okay, so 6, 4, 2, 7, ah, here we go, 7, 4, 7. So this should be 7 and 7, I'm thinking, I'm guessing. So it sits between the range. The first value, obviously, is 7, 4, 7, yeah? Divided by 100 equals 7, remainder 47. But 7, 4, 7, divided by 10, equals 74, yeah, remainder 7. Okay, so that one is going to have 7 and 7. Okay, 77, 77 doesn't fit into it. And 1, 2, 1, what I haven't done, yeah, I've not outputted the values. I'm just looking here. I've not outputted the values. So I'll do that. I've still got a space, I'm just looking at the limit here. But one two one fits in, so it's going to be the same principle. One two one divided by one hundred, okay, equals one and uh, remainder twenty one, and then divided by ten is going to be twelve remainder one. So again, one and one. So that one is one and one. So now, where it's of output value. We should have outputted one, two, one. Okay, we should have outputted here where we're both matching seven, um, four, seven. And here we're both matching six, oh, six. Okay, end if, next counter. So that's it, that's done. So looking at it, it says describe the purpose of the algorithm. Well, it's looking for, if we take this into account, it's looking for um, three digit numbers, okay, is being looked for, okay, but which start and end with the same number, okay? Because obviously 642 wasn't, okay? So we're not going to output it, okay? But these three are what we're outputting. So three digit number is what has been looked for by the algorithm, which start and end with the same number, okay? Pseudocode, yeah, especially when it steps in, steps in, steps in like that, is not the easiest thing to follow. But yeah, um, we've got mod and we've got divide. The quotient is what I was talking about. If I just wrote this out, okay, we've got a divider, okay, and we've got what we call a quotient, okay. Now the divider, if we've got 606, which we had, we're going to divide that by 100. Okay, but how many times does that go in? It goes in six times. Okay, so six is a quotient. That's what I was thinking. Okay, there we go. So six times 100 would be 600. So the remainder would be six. I think that's it. Good. Thank you very much indeed. Bye for now. Please continue to ask questions, leave your comments, hit notifications, and please subscribe. And finally, if you wish to buy me a coffee, I would be truly grateful. Please visit buymeacoffee.com forward slash learning zone. Thank you very much indeed. See you next time. Bye for now.